Now let's get acquainted with the GT Designer 3 screen that we opened at the end of the last section. The software name, project name, and file name appear in the title bar. Operations can be performed through the pull-down menus in the menu bar. The toolbar contains buttons used to perform common operations. The toolbar can be moved around the screen. Tabs of screen editors or windows displayed in the work window appear in the editor tab. The screen editor, environmental setting window, GOT setup window, and so on appear in the work window. The screen editor is used to create the screens displayed by GOTs by arranging figures and objects. The status bar displays information in accordance with the mouse cursor position and selection status of figures and objects. Okay, let's go over the kinds of screens that you can create with GT Designer 3. The first type of screen I should mention is the base screen. This is the fundamental GOT screen. Many different kinds of base screen pages can be created, as shown by these examples. In addition to the base screen, there are other screens that provide different functionality. Overlap windows that appear as a pop-up over the base screen. Key windows used for numerical input. Dialog windows that appear on top of all other windows and are used to display errors and warnings. Combinations of these windows are used to design user-friendly screens for GOTs. In the next chapter, we will use GT Designer 3 to create screens.